What's up everybody? I'm Jeffrey. This is Banana. Today we're going to be learning all about what snakes eat. So join us for It's Animal Time! To start today's episode, guys, we're gonna be taking a message from one of our defenders at home. Her name is Tiffany, and she just got a brand new snake, and she's wondering what she can feed it. So I have my friend Banana, the albino Burmese python here, to teach us all about what snakes eat. So, what is it, huh? What's the consensus, man? Oh, what? <laughs> Are you kidding me? All right. Well, if Banana told me what he wants to eat. I'm gonna go get it for him. I'll be right back, guys. The <laughs> Banana, you stay here. Don't move, buddy. Now, Banana's food is really far away, so I'm gonna head through the portal. I'll see you guys soon. Dudes, check it out, man. I went all the way across the world to get Banana his favorite food. Bananas, man. How exciting. So I'm gonna put these here. Now, Banana told me he likes his with the peel on. So I'm gonna put him right here and try to get him to eat it. Come on, dude. Hey, bro. Dude, come on. Hey, bro, what's the deal, dude? You said you like these bananas. I know, I think he likes them peeled. Let me try to peel this thing. Dude, hey, you're gonna love this banana. Get over here, bro. Dude, dude. Uh. All right, banana, what's, what's the deal, man? You told me that you just like bananas, man. What, what, what's, what's, you like snake food? What is snake food? I'm, uh, I'm gonna go to the zoo. I'm gonna try to find Cruz. I'll be back, all right? Dude, Cruz, I was just over there trying to feed banana and he played a joke on me telling me that all snakes eat bananas. So I came to the zoo to find out from you what snakes eat. Um, yeah, snakes for sure don't eat bananas. Um, but lucky for you, I'm actually prepping food for all the animals here at the zoo. So I do have some snake food for you. Nice, let's see it, dude. Here we are. Whoa, rats, man. I knew snakes eat rats, actually. Banana's always playing a trick on me. See you later, Cruz. All right, have a good one. Actually, bring me back to the banana like Cruz in here. Oh, guys. So I just went to the zoo, and I figured out what Banana's favorite food is. It's these rats right here. And here comes Banana. He's already really hungry. Let's see if he wants to eat. Whoa, that was much better. We don't need these bananas anymore. Let's get those out of here. Now, banana, of course he eats rats. He's a constrictor, and most snakes only eat meat. So here you can see he's already having a blast eating his favorite food. Dude, I really love watching snakes eat, man. It's so awesome. And this giant python is a constrictor, which means he wraps his body around his prey and squeezes it until it's ready to be eaten. So you can see him wrapping right now and doing his best to eat his food. That's pretty awesome, dudes. But it's gonna take this guy quite a long time to eat, and I grabbed some other animals from the zoo that need to eat as well. So let's check out some other snakes, man. 
So this guy here is a green tree python. He's one of the other hungry snakes that I brought back from the zoo. And this is a super cool arboreal snake that comes from the tropical rainforest of Southeast Asia. These guys are pretty amazing. And one of my favorite things about them is they're arboreal, which means they like to hang out up in the trees. That's where they do all their hunting and that's where they spend the majority of their life. Now I'm super excited because he's one of our hungry snakes as well. So I'm gonna go get his food, I'll be right back. All right, so like you guys already know, snakes eat rats and other types of animals. So this particular guy is gonna chow on this beautiful rodent that we got from Cruz. Now he uses his big, huge heat sensing pitch in his face to be able to pick up on the scent of the animal while he's up in the trees. Now there he goes. As you can tell again, he's a python. So he's a constrictor and he's doing this beautiful wrapping up around his food. That way he can secure it and squeeze it until it's ready to be eaten. So let's take a look at how beautiful and majestic he is while he's eating. And I'll be right back, defenders. Oh my God, dudes, check this guy out, man. He's totally finishing up his rat right now. And if you can tell, he's stretching out his entire neck and all of his jaw muscles so that he can swallow that big, huge rat. You can see right here how stretchy his skin and his scales is, and <laughs> he's almost done. Whoa, man, look at him go. You can tell right here, he's completely disconnecting his jaw and his head bones in something we call cranial kinesis, which allows him to really stretch his entire mouth over that entire rat. Whoa, look at him, man. And because he's arboreal, he's able to hang upside down while he's eating. All right guys, so the next snake on our list to eat today is a super cool snake called the Savu Island Python. And this guy is really rare. And I mean like really, really rare. He has the smallest distribution of any python in the entire world. But he's also a constrictor and of course, really good at separating those jaw muscles and his head so that he can eat. Let's put him up in his tree while I'll go get his food. All right, so I'm back with this mouse. Let's see if he wants to eat. Whoa, there he goes, man. Just like normal, you can see him curling. He's gonna be hanging here as he does his best to squeeze his prey. And we will have a good time checking this dude out, man. Alright guys, well one thing I want you to pay attention to while he's eating is him opening up his jaw and separating those head bones so he can get his mouth all the way around that giant meal. That would be like the same as me eating this huge watermelon. Imagine me trying to disconnect my jaw so I could swallow this entire watermelon whole. That's pretty crazy because no human ever could do that. Let's continue admiring this guy. But hey, Roscoe, get out of here. Don't be trying to hit that watermelon, man. Get out of here. 
Holy cow, I always have so much fun watching snakes eat. They're really cool. And it always fascinates me that they can swallow things that are massive like this watermelon. But either way, before we end this episode, guys, we have one more question from our viewers at home. They wanna know how long banana the snake is in actual bananas. So if you wanna find out all about how big he is, stay tuned for the rest of this episode. What? Hey, Roscoe, dude, I told you do not hit the watermelons, man. All right? We need this watermelon for food. Holy cow, that rhino's got to stop watching old Gallagher movies, man. It's pretty crazy. All right, dudes, well, I'm back over here with Banana, the albino Burmese python. He's totally done eating, and we're going to answer the ultimate question, dudes. How big is Banana in actual bananas? So I'm going to let him slither out right here, and I'm going to try to see how long he is. That's one, that's two, that's three, that's four, that's five, that's six, that's seven, that's eight, that's nine, that's ten, eleven, Twelve. Hey, you get back over here, mister. We're trying to measure you. Well, it looks like banana is about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 bananas long. That's pretty crazy. I don't know, but it's like the exact same as one giant banana. Like this. Now guys, you don't have to worry, as we already know from this video, Banana here does not eat bananas at all. At Critter Squad Zoo, he only eats rats. But that's not the only thing snakes eat. In fact, his friends out in the wild eat all kinds of stuff, from lizards to birds and even eggs. Well, I hope you guys had a good time measuring banana with me. Don't worry, none of this food here is going to go to waste. We have plenty of animals that eat bananas and one of them. Hey, Rhino, I'm Roscoe, what are you doing? I gotta go get this guy. I'll see you guys later. Hey, Roscoe, you get over here. Oh, 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 oh. Roscoe, hey, you put that watermelon down now. Oh, my God, man, what are you doing? No! Why? I can use some of this. Oh, oh, that's right, I forgot. None of this food will go to waste. That's great. Well, Defenders, we'll see you guys later. Join us next week for It's Animal Time. This is a juvenile, Cuban rock iguana, and he got a little jealous of artichoke eating, so I got a banana for him too. Whoa, dude, hang on, hang on, don't fall out, Mr. Hungry. Like I said, everybody loves bananas, man. I got another awesome lizard. This is an Argentine black and white tengu, and he loves eating bananas too. Let's see if he wants some. Hey dude, what's up man, you want some banana? Come on. Hey, look at that big mouth, man. There you go. Hey, you go.
doing, Jeff? Whew. It's so hot in this banana costume, man. I'm trying to cool down in here. And the only way I can is with this fan right in my face. Wow.